Lights on and we're getting ready to go here at Alton Park. Let's have a look. Collado gets away well, but look at Dean Stoneman. Fantastic start from Stoney. He's trying to squeeze him out and I think he's gone across Dean Stoneman. Fantastic. Brilliant. Look down the inside there. A fantastic move by Dean Smith. Edging, I think that was Oaks that got across onto the grass there. Not intentional, but that's the nature of Old Hall. We were talking about the corner. But look at Harry Tengel there coming through. That is Harry oh, Agonza there. Hello. James Collado, I think that's Sean Oaks. James Collado has had such a disappointing time. A couple of races he's not finished. That is a big, big kick in his championship points. <laughs> Absolutely right. That's going to be the two drop scores as we look at Harry Tinknell. I tell you what, Harry Tinknell's manager, Alan Manish, is going to be watching this live in Monaco. Hello, Alan. Difficult for him being out there, isn't it? Tough life for Alan. It is, but his, uh, his mentor, Harry Soden, his parents, Mark and Carol, are here. There's a lot of support for this young man. What an impressive... That's Manish in the far in the Hell's Beat car. He's been very impressive, qualified near the front at uh, Donington Park. Six, in fact, and Richard Oliver and Shaw, the team boss of Hill Speed, has been very impressive. Oh, somebody on the grass there. Is that McDonald? I think that might be. Yeah, think Coming out of the last part of the Nickerbrook chicane. Yeah, all sorts of problems going off. And when you get the grid very, very close indeed, as we look at James Dixon from Mark Burnett Motorsport, the youngster from Stockbury and Kent going off and recovering, but uh, we're just looking there at Dean Stoneman, who's coming through. Let's go slowly, Stoneman has a problem, he's a puncher, I think, but Dean Stoneman's suddenly going very, very slowly. Harry Tindall takes the lead, somebody else overtaking in the back row. The CRS car off there, I think that could be Williams, who can't really see from here. Could have been Lane, actually, Matthias Lane. Well, Lewis, Lewis Williamson's got a new helmet this weekend, switching from the white crash helmet to the blue crash helmet for this weekend. As we look at car number 10, David McDonald, the youngster from Ewell in Surrey. He's late. It's a problem. Matthias Matthias Lane. Lane. No, it's yeah. Joshua Scott. Joshua Scott off. It is. The six it? Yep. car. The Australian driver we were talking about has been very, very quick. Well, carnage are plenty. That is Lewis Williamson. He's got enough to do it. Look at that good move there. Round the outside for Harry Tingle. Then there was that little bit of contact. Now, I think the contact there in the background between Collado and Oates we saw, but look here, a bit more action going on. Everybody flying around. That's what happened to Menashe Edifar. I think he fell over Michael Lyons there, and that's often the case there into his lops because there's so much going on here. We see down the inside onto the grass, Matthias Lane somehow misses everyone. Sorry, Joshua Scott. Scott. Somehow misses everyone. The, uh, the avenue and down as Alice has just come back out, we were just talking about her, and down into Old Hood. Somebody. Having a moment, I think that's one of the Tempest guys. I think it could be Rodola, and that could be Dixon. I'm not sure. It could actually be both the Tempest guys. Now that's that is Lewis Williamson, and the uh, the Avenue and down as Alice has just come back out. We were just talking about her and down into Old Hall. Somebody having a moment. I think that's one of the Tempest guys. I think it could be Rodola, and that could be Dixon. I'm not sure. It could actually be both the Tempest guys. Now that's that is Lewis Williamson.